Hey, Calvary Plymouth. Hi. Welcome to today's Daily Devo, Acts chapter 19, verses 8, 9, and 10. And he, Paul, went into the synagogue and spoke boldly for three months, reasoning and persuading concerning the things of the kingdom of God. But when some were hardened and did not believe, but spoke evil of the way, and that's what they called the church back then, the way, before the multitude, he departed from them, withdrew the disciples, reasoning daily in the school of Tyrannus. And this continued for two years, so that all who dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. So Paul's normal method of operation was going to the synagogues. And sometimes they believed and sometimes they didn't. But here's what happened. He got to reason with them for three months. And they finally said no, and he took the people that believed, and he went to another place. Now, he's in Ephesus, and he spends two years with these guys in the school of Tyrannus every day teaching them God's word. And sometimes doing things for the Lord's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's interesting, too, again, just pointing out the fact that, um, like Kenny said, Paul was there teaching them for three months. And then it says some of them were hardened and did not believe. So he departed from them. And I think we can take this to heart that um, even the Apostle Paul spent that time pouring into people and they didn't believe and they were being resistant. And so he said, okay, he left, he went elsewhere and he moved on and continued to teach the word of God. And I think it's so easy sometimes when we feel like, well, people aren't listening to me and I'm not seeing any results to feel like we're not making a difference and we just give up. And we have to remember, just because we can't see what's happening, just because we might not see the fruit of our labors, that we need to continue and be persistent, that the Lord is doing a work and he doesn't want us to give up. No, he doesn't. So, hey, what are the marching orders? We share Jesus. Do we see fruit sometimes? Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But that doesn't negate the marching orders. So let's continue on with Jesus and see what he has for us. So, Father, we want to thank you that you use us. And, Lord, for, for, for the people that are out there that may be getting down or frustrated and they feel like that things aren't going the way they should, Lord, would you strengthen them? Would you fill them with your spirit? Lord, we need to know that you are doing something if we don't see it. And we want to trust in you and have your perspective on, on the things that are happening in our lives and in this world. So we love you and we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. All right, God bless you guys. See you tomorrow. See ya.